guys, it's Jamie with Jamie's Realistic Life. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Jamie. I'm 51 years old and I'm on a journey to become debt free. But first, I'm trying to get my finances in order. So, today it is August the 31st. Can you believe it's almost tomorrow is September? This is crazy. So, last night I couldn't sleep. And of course, y'all know, I'm just going to flip through here. Uh, last night I couldn't sleep and I was thinking about September and what challenge could I do in September besides my coin savings workbook that I got from Amanda's budget. And what I came up with is over here is things that I've got to take care of tomorrow when it comes in. Um, I came up with September challenge is save the J bucks. So each time I get paid, I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to get 50 ones and I'm going to search for the J bucks. I have an opportunity to save 112 of them through the month. If I, I could probably save more, but my little chart here ended up being $112. So whatever I find in September, at the end of September, I'm going to put all that into the bank and make a payment towards my pair credit card. And I'm hoping and praying that it all goes good. But I also went ahead and got these cute little challenges from Miss Amanda. And I've already scratched off to figure out what I need to put in each one of these when I get paid. So this one is going to go to Care Credit also. This one is going to go to my Amazon card. And this one is going to go to my Credit One card. And then the next one is going to go to lows so that is what I'm using these cute little challenges for and once I get them filled I'll send an extra payment to these credit cards just to try to get them paid off paid off and out of my hair and just trying to do a little bit of something to keep me motivated and get things started now, yeah, I'm still croupy. I cannot get over his stuff. I've tested negative for this virus that first I tested positive, then I tested negative, but I still can't get rid of it. But anyway, <coughs> I still got this creepy cough. I just want to thank everybody for all the Etsy orders that you all placed for the 2024 Savings Challenge. I woke up this morning. And I had five more and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is really going good. I didn't know if anybody would like the little challenge. But thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me that, you know, you all like the challenge. And if you hadn't seen a preview of it or if this is a video, this is just a mock-up one that I've got. And I'm just going to do a quick little flip, flip through. You have the 52 week challenge that you can start. You do it any way you want to. You can save save it like it's meant to be. Week one, a dollar. Week 52, 52. Or you can do a dollar. You can do five dollars, ten dollars, whatever's in your budget. All of this is low income. Don't stress out over the scratch offs. I promise you, there is only one high scratch off, and it is in December. And the, the amount is 20 bucks. I'll just give you that. But this is low income. It's not going to stress you. I promise you it will not stress. And then you have this one right here. And I did leave it blank. This one, uh, somebody messaged me and asked me about this one. What you do with this, you pick your own number. You put it in this block. You save that amount. And then, like, if you pick one, it'd be one plus three is four. You save four dollars here, 
4 minus 2 is 2. And then you just keep on saving whatever is your number in the bubble. Then we have the cute little, uh, this could be a February challenge for Valentine's Day. This just was one that I picked out to show love. I love teddy bears. And I just wanted to have a little symbol in here of how much I love this community. You all are so special to me. This one over here is just a fun little color in the flower. It's not very much. Uh, the highest number is 10. And then you can use this one over here for like if you wanted to do April. Uh, for uh, Easter or, you know, hunt the little eggs. It says let's hunt the numbers. This one is one fives and tens. If you save all this, you'll save $165. This one, I have no idea uh, what you could save. I didn't tally it up, and the reason why I didn't is because this one is just like, let's say you want to use this for the month of August or June or whatever. You can set yourself and say, hey, this one's a June challenge, just like I did with my September challenge. You know, you can say, hey, for June, I want to see what I can say for June. And then you just mark off whatever number you put in there. And then at the end of June, total, tally it up. How much did you save? And then over here, y'all know I love my bees. This is a little bee mystery. Don't stress out with these. They're low number also. Same as let's keep grooving. Y'all know I love my gnomes. And then this one, this one can get a little high. Uh, but, you know, you can, you don't have to do the whole page. You can go through and say, hey, I want to do four times one. And just do that one. Or one times two. Or one times nine. You know, you don't have to do, or, you know, if you don't have money that week, you can say four times zero is zero. You know, you don't have to do the whole page, guys. That's just, that's the point of the of the book. You do what you can. And in fall, you know, fall star, starts, oh my gosh, it starts next month. Oh gosh, we're coming up on fall, guys. So you can start this one in September and just work your whole way through the season of fall. And then you have the little cute boo for Halloween. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't stress on these. These are low numbers also. You know, a lot of people don't like doing scratch-offs because they, um, you, you don't know the amount. You don't know if you're going to have the amount. Mine is based on low income. Like I said, the only high number that is in this book is a $20, and it is in December for Christmas. And that's because, and it's just one. I'm just going to give you a sneak. There's only 120 on this on this thing. The rest of it is low numbers. You know, so you can save whatever the amount is and then split it however you want to or if you don't have any family or you can give it to a shelter, you can give it to the Humane Society, you know, just whatever. But I really want to thank everybody for the sales of this book. It's went crazy and I promise after... I get off work here in a little bit. I will finish printing out the other ones. Yeah, I got to go into work today. As always, I live at work. Um, this one right here is just so sweet and cute. Yes, my dogs are barking. You can hear somebody in the background coming in. But anyway, and my little message to you all for 2024. And guys, I want to get off here and see who is outside because the dog is going nuts. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.